Now, in other news, we cross over to the Kenya Airport Authority head office uh, where Road and Transport Cabinet Secretary Kipchumba Morkomen is addressing members of the fourth state regarding the blackout experienced on the night of Friday, 25th of August. Let's listen in. Of uh, barking and shouting at people where things can be done in an orderly manner, it's possible to do so. It is possible to make changes in a more cultured manner. So I want to thank you, Fred and uh, uh, Alex, for the uh, sacrifice you're making to our country. Uh, we are not judging you. We are not punishing you. We are just creating an opportunity for others to also try and see whether they can turn around the situation at the Kenya Airports Authority. Further, the following changes have also been effected in the management of the airports in the country. Uh, Abel Gogo, the airport manager Jomo Kenyatta International Airport, now moves to Mombasa International Airport. Mr. Abel Gogo was here, he took me through what we are doing at the airport earlier, and uh, now he moves to serve in Mombasa International Airport. Uh, Madam Selina Gore, the airport manager uh, Kisumu International Airport, now moves to Jomo Kenyatta International Airport as the new manager of JKIA. Number three, Mr. Whit Peter Wafula, the airport manager Mombasa Airport, moves to Kisumu International Airport again in the same uh, capacity. These changes take effect immediately. More changes will follow in the coming days. Further, in order to ensure that a similar incident is not replicated, it has been decided that the two generators that were procured more than two years ago be immediately commissioned. Number uh, Again, I have further directed the board to work on the staff attitude, mentorship and motivation to improve productivity. And uh, myself and the PS will be coming back to the airport in the next uh, few days next week to have a meeting with the entire staff. Uh, uh, and we want to know exactly what really demotivates uh, uh, our, our KA staff and why really so many people complain about services at the airport. Number three, I assure the country that the world and the world that we have taken measures to enhance capacity of technical experts in the engineering department to ensure that such incidents do not occur. I want to thank the board of management uh, who facilitated these decisions this morning chaired by uh, the chair himself, uh, Honorable Kostan, and the board members who are all here, some who participated, including the chair, uh, via Zoom, that they have sacrificed their time and the travel from different parts of the country uh, to have an emergency meeting so that we can facilitate these decisions being made. I want to assure the country that uh, every decision we make is well thought, well planned, well uh, uh, and we are well prepared to ensure that uh, Jomo Kenyatta International Airport and the, all the airports across the country are functioning properly and making us and protecting our, our territory as the leading aviation hub in the region. And I believe that uh, as we move forward, you will see uh, most of these changes. You will see changes in the lower cadre in the next few days. Uh, and uh, I, can, I can tell you, uh, you, will, you will have more confidence in the work we are doing. I thank you. I don't think there's any questions. It's a bit more self-explanatory. Yeah? It's just one or two. Oh, okay. Um, have you been able to ascertain what specific areas... At his uh, roads and transport uh, cabinet secretary, Kipchumba Murkomen, announcing the JK management reshuffle in efforts to streamline operations at the airport.